November the 20th, 2020. Guys, you're looking at current images of the, our sun, and this is from a satellite called the SDO, and it's linked on our website at bpearthwatch.com. Uh, BP and it is called Solar Dynamics Observatory on the left column of links. What we're looking at, this is a camera called the AIA-171, and there's 12 cameras on board, and they each have different filters, so you can see different things. But th as this satellite gives us images that have an Earth-facing perspective. In other words, we're seeing the the satellites between us and the sun, basically. It's about a million miles in front of us. It does do a figure eight in space to keep its orbit intact, but it's basically giving us about a million mile out warning of uh, what it's seeing out of the 93 million miles between us and the sun. It's called L1, that particular orbit. But uh, guys, at the bottom section of the sun, we saw this sunspot come around... Uh, about two weeks ago now, and throw off a sea flare, the largest of the current solar cycle that we're starting to emerge in. Then we're getting a row of sunspots here that uh, are coming around. They'll be broadsiding Earth w with any activity. If you look closely at these magnetic lines, you can see some rather large explosions here and peeling off the surface. Watch this right up in here. I'll show you as it comes back around. But uh, we know these are here, but there's something coming around the left edge of the sun that we need to be watching. You're starting to see that right there, and it's two large sunspots. We happen to have a satellite on the other side of the sun called the Stereo A, and we're going to take a look at the images from there, and it'll kind of give you an idea of what we're going to be facing. But again, watch the activity here. And I'll slow this down, guys. Um, what you're what, looking at is a coronal mass ejection and looking at something that's much larger than our planet is. And one of the flares, uh, one of these sunspots, excuse me, created a solar flare, not a large one. And uh, that's what we saw. There was a section of the surface of the sun called a coronal mass ejection that left. Let me back it up. We'll look at it again. And uh, it's, it left the surface of the sun some people call that would we call a kill shot if you were on it was a satellite it was aimed at or a close enough planet but they're much larger than this when you get into grand solar maximum guys you'll see the entire side of the sun erupts in some cases but just behind this and i'm going to bring it forward just a little easing around the edge right there you see that little glow well that is what's coming around in it could be some of the largest solar cycle or sunspots of this solar cycle and again the reason i'm doing the video is because we just did a bible video about shemesh the video one or two before this one and it talks about both the sun the son of man and uh the sun that we're looking at now but uh so it's important to start watching because there's a lot of activity going on around this planet right now it's a little on the uh, dark side, if you understand what I'm saying. So we never know, you, uh, like a thief in the night, guys. So I'm always watching, and uh, I enjoy watching this type of information anyway. But I do want to show you an image from the other side of the sun. And guys, when they put both images together, what you're seeing on the right side of this, and it's just kind of outfolded like some of the old maps, uh, it, because of the way they laid the image out, you're seeing the current sunspots here. But right here is that glow that's coming uh, around that southeastern or left bottom side of the sun. Right there. And you see, the, there, even, and again, this is giving us a heads up view from a different satellite. The amazing thing about this, they're two in a row, they're very bright. They're the, probably going to be the largest so far of the sun cycle. And with our shields weak because we're in grand solar minimum, then any geo-effective or earth-effective activity on the sun, whether it's a CME or a solar flare or filament release, then um, it's time to start paying attention to it because we tracked it and we saw a solar flare hit uh, the Fukushima area during that quake.
So um, we're watching it, guys. You watch it. There's a lot going on, and I'm paying attention to all of that. But uh, over the next few days, watch for an uptick in solar activity. If we see that, you'll see an uptick in earthquake activity. It's a heads up, guys. Be safe.